And poised and ready, can you give us your writing tips? Gosh, you guys have probably gotten so many really great writing tips. Um, I mean, I, you know, there's all the don't quit, sit in the seat, don't get up, write your pages, you know, there's right, all right. that stuff. But let me say something that maybe somebody else hasn't said. Hmm. Okay, okay. So here's what I do. If 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 I'm sitting down, like when I when I am writing, like I'm sure you guys are, I am writing. There's no candle going. There's no bath salts. There's no soft lighting <laughs> to get me in the mood to write. I just, you know, just the platform I, boots. Right, so, just yeah. the platform. Yeah, you just have to you have to get it done. And so, um, what I do in one of those days when I can't think of what to write, like I know where I have to be, and I'm not there yet. And so there's this, this yeah. chasm in between where I am and where I need to be, and I can't quite figure out what to do. I just write description and bring each character onto the scene and see who says what. And oh, that, that somebody says something that sparks something. The other tip that I have that has really helped me in the last few years, in both Nightingale and The Four Winds, there's a prologue. That, and this prologue is designed to, to tell you sort of what this book is going to be, what the journey you're going on is. And you don't know who's speaking. And oh. I, as the novelist, did not know who was speaking. Oh. And I wrote a whole book that. trying to figure out who said that and when did they say it. And so it kept me, um, it kept me from ever that. being really comfortable with what I was doing. Now that's something that. I've never heard before. I love that. That is great. Awesome. Yeah. 